Hi, my name is David Arwood. I am the managing director of the Arwood Company in Marietta, Georgia. We are a liquidation and appraisal firm. Today we are here at Tool Pro uh, visiting with a uh, very fine gentleman here. His name is Mr. Rick Dossie. Um, we are discussing today the assets of North Star that we are liquidating on behalf of a secured creditor here in the Atlanta, Georgia area. If you would, sir, just please introduce yourself uh, to the folks watching. Sure. Um, I'm Rick Dawsey. Um, I expect some of the people that would be interested in this company already know me. Um, the, uh, we've, we've been in the tool distribution business for um, 20 years, more than 20 years, and uh, as Tool Pro. And in 2006, we decided to buy North Star Taping Tools, um, which was a good decision at the time, but the the economy turned on us, and the best day we have, the best month we ever had, was the month we bought it. It went straight downhill. Mr. Doss, let me ask you a question. Why, in your opinion, is North Star such a solid name in the industry? Uh, the sellers put a lot of work into it. The, the sellers put a lot of work into the quality of it, and frankly, after we bought it, um, we did a great deal of additional work to improve the, the products and iron out uh, very few areas where we had flaws. Um, it's always been regarded as the finest tool in the industry and it's for good reason because it really is. Um, it's actually the most expensive tool uh, to build because so much goes into it but the users understand that and those people that want to buy a Cadillac or a Mercedes will buy the North Star tool. All right now Mr. Dossey if you um, would be so kind as to tell us in your opinion or your interpretation, what specifically are the assets of the North Star Tool Corporation? The, the principal asset, Dave, is the brand recognition itself. North Star is recognized across the United States and, uh, and across Canada as being the finest quality automatic taping tool on the market by far. It's an extraordinarily durable, reliable tool when measured against the competition. Okay. Um, the, the, the name recognition is great. Um, there's a very large customer list that's the property of the company that identifies essentially every potential customer for these tools in North America. Um, they're, they're all available and they were all very disappointed when the company was forced to file bankruptcy. Um, the, the designs are well executed, they're well documented, it's all uh, uh, it's all CAD CAM designs. Um, the, all the tools and dies are in place to build these tools. Um, they're not held within North Star. They're held by various manufacturers uh, from whom we purchase parts. But uh, all of those tools and dies are the property of North Star and are transportable um, because, because the company owns them. Um, I guess those are the main things. Did I miss any point, Dave? Um, specifically, uh, the, the, what do you think about the website? Would that be considered an asset? I think so. Thank you um, for reminding me of that. Um, you can take a look at uh, northstartool.com and see the website. Of course, it's, uh, you know, it hasn't been touched since the day we filed for bankruptcy, but it was a professionally executed um, and very, very attractive. And, and a high trafficked website that would be acquired to be able to have traffic delivered to uh, to that to the new owner's company. Oh, it's your your IT person would transfer it. Absolutely. You know, very quickly. There's, there's nothing. It's, it's very simple to transfer for an IT person. Okay. And the final thing I wanted to ask you, uh, talk to you about, it, and as far as the assets go, are the actual patents. Now, what is the? Uh, there's been some speculation I think in the industry as far as uh, who owns what patents. Uh, in your knowledge, uh, consider what are the exact patents involved, what are they, who are they the property of, and uh, what do you, you know, consider them to be? The U.S. patents are owned by North Star and are registered in the U.S. Patent Office. Uh, anyone who's interested in seeing this can log on to the U.S. Patent Office website and pull down all the details. Okay, so the patents to all the stuff in, are a property of North Star Corporation, which falls under the bankruptcy 
laws, and people can just consult their attorney about this if they have any other, uh, questions. But I mean, to your knowledge, that's a, that is an asset of the company which is to be sold. Yeah, yeah. All all of the assets will be sold free and clear by the trustee. Okay, so just to, to verify with you, so the assets are defined as the brand recognition of the North Star name itself, the designs, the dyes, the molds, the toolings, the website, the patents, and the customer list, the coveted customer list. All these carry extreme value with them, correct? I think so. I mean, the, the, the company just needs... You know, it just needs to go back into business. Everything is in place. I forgot to mention the simple fact that there's a lot of inventory available. Um, there's a lot of finished goods, a lot of components um, that, that are part of it. So in the inventory, there could be raw materials, um, all kinds of stuff back there. Yeah, yeah raw, raw, materials, uh, work in, raw materials and work in process, uh, basically. And, and there's some finished goods, but not a great deal. Well, in regards to the existing inventory, again, um, just to clear it up for the record, uh, what is your knowledge of the existing inventory? Uh, as you know, the Arwood Company conducted an appraisal a few months back of the uh, of the assets here of North Star Tool Corporation. And in your opinion, has anything changed back there in regards to the inventory over the past few months, or is everything still in place? No, nothing's been touched since the day we filed. Uh, our bankruptcy lawyer told us you don't touch anything from the day we filed, and that's that's what we've done. All right, and Mr. Dossie, uh, in regards to inspection, um, as you can imagine, uh, prospective buyers from around the world that are watching this may want to uh, set an appointment. Uh, we will be giving out inspections, uh, tours of the facility here by strictly by appointment only, and you can contact me, Dave Arwood, at seven seven zero four two three. 0110 for an appointment. Um, it's, it's certainly. Are you open to uh, letting people come in, uh, potential buyers, and inspect the inventory and the assets here at uh, at the plant? Oh, of course. Uh, the 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 operation is controlled by the trustee at this point, and um, I'm more than happy to assist you in any way that I possibly can. We're open here at Tool Pro. 8 till 5, Monday through Fridays. All right, this is Dave Arwood. We are now back on the uh, floor here of uh, North Star Tool Pro with uh, Mr. Rick Dossie again, and he's going to actually walk us through, and we're going to take a look at the specific uh, inventory that is on the floor here. Uh, Mr. Dossie, if you would, just we'll start with this right here. Well, this is a sandblasting cabinet. Um, we have a belt sander, tumbling equipment, uh, principally it's an assembly operation and these are assembly tables they're, they're, they're quite messy when we you know when we were forced to file bankruptcy our attorneys told us to uh, you know walk away and so everything has been just as it was left um, we're inside the uh, tool pro warehouse um, the area that we're talking about is probably 50 feet wide and, and 75 feet deep I'm just guessing it's not a large area um, we have the uh, bins and bins and bins of component parts. Um, I'm just looking at this one. If virtually every part here is unique. We have almost no off-the-shelf components, including fasteners. Most of the fasteners are, are unique. But uh, little bushings, uh, no, no particular one of these is of any uh, great consequence, but there's thousands and thousands of them. Very, very high quality little pump gaskets. Much better than anybody else in the industry has. So all these little parts and everything are used to go into the greater assembly of very fine machines and parts and things. Yeah, all, all, all of these parts are used to assemble the various tools from the, the taper to the boxes to the adjust our handle, the corner finishers, all of these items. All the parts are purchased outside as we've discussed and brought in here uh, from individual machine shops across North America. A lot of them are in British Columbia and uh, we, we assemble them here. So every, every one of these bins uh, is, comes in from somebody else uh, that, that's custom manufacturing it. Okay. I guess that bag that I picked up is just, those are probably off the shelf nuts. That's one of the very few things in here that's off the shelf. Okay. Uh, 
there's a, a modest amount, not a great amount, but a modest amount of uh, specialty assembly jigs and fixtures that do reside here. Um, we've got a uh, little machine area here to support the assembly operation. Um, punch press, a uh, couple of mills, lathe, drill press, that sort of thing. Um, but to reiterate, that's, that's not the, um, the real manufacturing part of the company. That's out with very, very high quality um, manufacturing shops across the country. Um, there's, these, these are obviously finished goods that are boxed, ready to go. These are finished goods, box ready to go. Um, we have, back over here, we have uh, finished goods that are tapers. Looks like there's probably 20 of them. Um, under here, they're not quite finished, but they're almost finished. Those are, um, that's the most expensive tool in the line to, to produce and to sell. Um, these are the machine tools we have here in the shop. Uh, punch press, couple of mills, drill press, bandsaw, uh, welding equipment, arbor press, things like that to, to support this operation here. Okay. The company was, was founded in uh, British Columbia, the, the Vancouver, greater Vancouver area, and uh, most of the machine shops are located in that area. Most of the tooling that North Star owns is held by those machine shops in that area. Uh, there's also a fair amount of finished goods in those shops that are owned by North Star, although they're physically stored with that uh, independent shop. And to your knowledge, the successful high dollar bidder uh, will have the right and will have no problems whatsoever going into Canada and seizing those assets as part of the North Star Corporation as well. Is that correct? Mm, none whatsoever. Okay. I'm not a lawyer. I have to add that. Uh, I would think everybody would talk to their own lawyer about it, but uh, no, there's no indication that there's any uh, any problem with that whatsoever. Right, because those are indeed the things certain, what to your knowledge is located in Canada, sir? Tools and dies, is a, it's a long list which um, is available. Um, there's, um, there's molds for uh, founded parts, um, stamping dies, um, I can't recall them all. It's a couple of pages of, of, of individual pieces of uh, high dollar, high volume tooling. But just to reiterate, all those items are a part of the North Star Tool Corporation and um, uh, to the high dollar bidder, they will own that free and clear of all liens and encumbrances, to your knowledge oh, absolutely. and to our knowledge. Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a chapter seven bankruptcy sale. It all comes out of the sale free and clear. That sounds good. All right, sir. Well, we certainly thank you for your time today. Again, we have been visiting with Mr. Rick Dossey, who is the president and CEO of Tool Co. I'm Dave Arwood of the Arwood Company LLC here in Marietta, Georgia. Uh, we want to thank you for your time and watching this video. If you have any other questions, please contact our company directly, the Arwood Company LLC, 770-423-0110. Thank you so much. Have a good day.